Bud Light has a lemonade. And I and Bud Light has a lemonade. I found that out today. How you doing guys? Checking in, making a video, you know, the typical jazz. Do me a favor, turn the the bell on, whatever that means. Turn that bell on so when I upload, you guys actually see my stuff, the 14 of you that I actually watch. And uh, make sure you like the video. This is going to be more of a romantic type of video. I'm not comparing it to Coors, although I wish I had a Coors instead of this Bud Light Lemonade, because that's a thing. But I figured I could try this, considering it caught my eye at Walmart today. Very, very vibrant color. Thought I could try it, let you guys know what I think about it. I think it came out in like 2020 or something like that, but I just saw it. I, don't, I haven't seen it stocked anywhere, so I bought them. I wasted $10. Bud Light Lemonade. Are you guys out of your mind? Bud Light Lemonade. As if your shirt could not be tucked any tighter, you go and you add lemonade to your beer. I don't know if golfers drink this or dads with the white Nikes drink this, but I absolutely don't want to try this, but I have to because it's it called to me like the devil. I have no idea why I bought these, but I did. It's a light lager with real lemon peels, because you need some bits in your beer now too, because it's a Bud Light lemonade, a beer lemonade, and it has natural flavors. Well, obviously, if there's real lemon peel, that's a natural flavor. I don't understand that, but uh, I don't know the, the alcohol on this guy, but I figured you guys could crack with me. Refreshment with a twist. Why do you need to get twisted? Just get drunk, you know what I mean? Get, it doesn't make any sense to me. Let's hear the crack. It's got the seltzer can to it too. Very weird crack. It smells more like beer. I don't like the smell of Bud Light. I feel like uh, my shirt is a little bit tighter now that I uh, smelled this. So if I taste it, I better not look down and have my shirt tucked in out of nowhere. I feel like I'll just transform into a 50 something dude with the, you know, like the dad tank stops here tucked in with that. You guys ever seen the um, those woven belts? They're really, really weird and they have like 18 notches because you know how like. People just fluctuate. It's very weird. I hope that doesn't happen to me. I, <clears throat> it's gross. Why do we need this? Why do you need a Bud Light with lemonade in it? I don't understand that. You, you need more sugar? Buy a Twisted Tea, my guy. They taste so much better. This is... This is confusing my brain. It's telling me to tuck my shirt in, but the lemonade's saying take the shirt off because you want to go get your bronzing out in the sun. Absolutely not okay with me. I, I, I don't know why all these companies keep doing like the twists on everything. Stick to what you know. Release the seltzer, that's fine. But Bud Light Lemonade, of all things, maybe they had some Bud Light that, I don't know, didn't make the cut. So somebody made some lemonade and they added it to the beer. I have no idea why we need this. The can is absolutely vibrant, but it's just like a Twisted Tea, man. You, it tastes like beer, but it has a lemonade taste, but it makes me think that I should just have a Twisted Tea if I'm going to have a lot of sugar. Now, they claim to only have, like, I think it's 16 carbs, 7.5 sugars. That's fine. It's low sugar if you drink stuff like this, but I don't need lemonade in my beer. I'm not psychotic. I wanted to film this in this kind of perspective because I feel like I'm always doing the same things with the beer battles and you know well you're not in my garage but I'm in the opposite I'm on the opposite end of this uh table we have in here so I thought I'd just get a little bit more intimate with you guys I hope you're doing well I um regret buying these as a waste of ten dollars it's been in the fridge for like three hours it's still not that cold I don't know why the fridge usually like the cores are always crispy and my fade I feel like my hair is growing now that I drank that the only thing that's making this better is the smoke. Why do people feel like they need to switch up what they like? I like Coors Light. I drink them. I like Coors Banquet. I drink them. You know that. Never in my wildest dreams would I ever consider adding lemonade to my Coors Light. I don't care if you need to change things up, if you're tired of the same old routine. Structure creates success. People who want lemonade in their beer are absolutely bonkers. And Bud Light drinkers in general, they're just bonkers. You know, like, I, I'm not trying to press on anyone, but God, dude. It's just kind of like a gross drink. I don't feel good drinking this. I have to go grab a real beer. 
So you guys know that I'm not joshing with you. So I just keep talking. I'm not really sure how this video is going to turn out. But I hope you guys are doing fine. I went with the tall boys today. It's probably going to be a bad video, but it is what it is. Content, right? Content driven. Don't forget the bell, the likes, crotch area stuff. Do all that. Tall boy, let's crack this one because like this is this is done, absolutely done. I'm gonna go pour it out. Probably have a wasp nest next week with all the sugar that's in this goddamn drink. That was a crack. Cheers to you guys. A little bit of a Sunday fun day. If you're hearing any noise in the background, I have golf on. Hannah's at a baby shower. She usually films for me. I love her with all my heart. And she left me here with my Smokies and my Korskis. And of course, I'm gonna have a Coors. You know that. But I'm not going to have a Bud Light Lemonade, no way. I wouldn't even be caught in public with that thing. Like, I don't care if you're on a boat, if you're in the Ozarks, or you go to Mexico. Like, it's not a good look. It's not a good look. I'm not hating on the people that want to drink it, but why? Why? Absolutely disgusted. I'm horrified. I'm perplexed. I got goosebumps, and not in a good way. And I'm feeling a little weird in my crotch area, and I don't know why. Maybe it's the sugar rush into the you-know-what, but... Who knows? That might be a good thing later. You never know. I keep trying to think of ideas and things that I can do besides just drinking because I probably come off like a total alcoholic. But typically, like I showed you in my union video, I don't drink Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I might have one Thursday, but usually during the week, I don't smoke, I don't drink. So on the weekends, it's time to catch up. Like I, I go nuts, but I feel no guilt and it works. I stay in shape. It's, you know. We're doing it. Do a lot of the peace reading and things like that. So there's a good mixture. But if I'm rewarding myself with a beer, why am I going to buy a beer Slurpee? This is literally like melted Slurpee with a beer hint. I don't even know if you can catch a buzz. I feel like I'm more sober when I drink that. It's, it's wild. So the reason I'm filming this is just trying to switch it up. I want to film the trips we're going to take, like vlog them and all that. But it's tough. You know, you want to be in the moment. You want to enjoy your time with your partner and here I am I'm pulling out a camera like hey guys how you doing it's Jacob checking in it's not cool it's not a good look I don't even know if this is a good look but it's something to do I gotta give this thing one more sip just just so I know I want to remember how much I hate it already don't buy these or buy do whatever you want there's I got the variety packs so there's cherry and I don't know, it's like the tropical flavors. We have to stick to what we know. If you drink Miller Lite, just drink Miller Lite. If you drink seltzers, pick a seltzer and stick with it. Have some structure. Just stick with what you know, trust your instincts. My instincts say cores, and cores says get drunk. I trust my instincts, because everybody wins that way. So, yeah, now you guys know. I think I'm gonna end this video Again, the bell helps, the likes help. I just want to see what these videos can do. I got that Banquet versus Coors Light video at 4,000 views, so I just want to see if this takes off. I don't know. I've been trying to do this shit for 10 years, and nothing's happened, but I'll think of more stuff. And if you guys have ideas, put them in my crotch area. And I guess go try the Bud Light Lemonade so we can all start a Facebook group and hate on Bud Light a little bit more. But please do not tuck your shirt in. Or do. Maybe when you tuck it in, the beers taste a little better. But Michelob and Bud Light, absolutely the type of people who wear tube socks with flip-flops. With the thong flip-flops. Those kinds. Not the slides. The slides are cool. But, yeah. I'm not doing that again. My stomach's already going wild. And uh, this video's already too long. But, hey, everybody, enjoy your Sunday. Remember, be in the now. Have fun. Do what you want to do. Follow your dreams. All that jazz. You're, you're your best friend. So, make sure you're happy. That's all I got to say. Now I got to start catching a, a bus ski with my core ski and potentially puke in the toilet so I can get that lemonade out of my stomach. You all enjoy your day. I will see you soon, hopefully with some cool content. Who knows? You never know. All right. I'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah, but Sours. Bye.